know that the ear is a sensory organ, right? That picks up sound waves, okay, allowing us to hear. But it is also essential to our sense of balance. And the organ that is important for our sense of balance is our vestibule. Where do we find our vestibule? Well, our vestibule is found in our inner ear. Do you remember our inner ear? Our inner ear is made up of our vestibule together with our snail-like looking structure here called the cochlea. But now, to understand the sense of balance and equilibrium, we have to look at our vestibule. Let's go take a look at our vestibule. But why must we go into the vestibule? Well, the receptors for balance and equilibrium are sitting inside the semicircular canals which lies within our vestibule. It is these receptors that are sitting there that will enable us to maintain our balance and our equilibrium. Equilibrium just means our stability or our steadiness. Okay? Right. Let's begin. So, some of the words that we will be coming across now are very important and we need to understand it. Okay? The words that we will be hearing about is ampulla, cristi, utriculus, saculus, macula. Again, ampulla, cristi, utriculus, saculus, macula. Those words we will be coming across now when we are learning about what lies within our semicircular canals and these structures that we spoke about are important when we are explaining balance and equilibrium. Right, let's begin. Let's take a look at our structure. Right, children, here's our three semicircular canals that we find within our vestibule. Right. At the base of our semicircular canals, meaning somewhere at the bottom, we are going to find a swelling there called the ampulla. Okay? So if we had to take an ampulla and if we had to enlarge it, what lies within? Let's find out. Right? So within the ampulla, we are going to find that it has its own receptor cells here. Its own hair cells, which we call its Christi. So the Christi are the hair cells or the receptors that lie inside our ampulla. Surrounding our Christi, we find a jelly-like or gel-like substance there called the cupula. So what will I find within an ampulla? Within an ampulla, I'm going to find receptor cells. Christi, I will find jelly-like or gel-like substance called the cupula. Also lying at the base of the semicircular canals are two other swellings called the utriculus and the saculus. Now, they also contain receptors or their own hair cells which we call the macula. So can you see these hair cells here? Those are the macula that we find within the saculus and utriculus. Surrounding them is also a gel or jelly-like substance. Okay, so very important. We are going to hear about the gel uh, or the jelly-like substance together with the macula when we talk about our balance and equilibrium. So what will I find within my utriculus and saculus? Within my utriculus and my saculus, I find receptor cells or hair cells called macula. And surrounding the macula are gel-like or jelly-like substance as well, which we will be talking about now when we talk about balance and equilibrium. Let's move on to how is balance and equilibrium maintained. 
Which word will we come across now? We will come across words like the ampulla with its crusty, right? What was the crusty? It was the hair or the receptor cells within the ampulla. It had its own jelly-like substance surrounding it called the cupula, right? We also learned that at the base of the semicircular canals, we also find other swellings there called the utriculus and the sacculus. And within the utriculus and the sacculus, we find it's, it has its own hair cells or receptor cells called the macula. And surrounding the macula was its own jelly-like or gel-like substance, which is going to play a role now when we explain how balance and equilibrium is maintained. Children, we must understand that the Christi, which are the receptor cells or the hair cells within the ampulla, they are very important. I want to tell you why. The Christi is important because it is the receptor organ for rotation. When we are rotating and turning around and around, right? It is the Christi, which is the receptor cells that's going to detect the movement of the endolymph when we are moving around like a rotation, okay? It is the Christi that is the one that's going to detect that kind of movement, right? And we are going to understand what's going to happen to that Christi, which is the hair cells in the ampulla when we are rotating, okay? We need to understand that. So what we will understand that a little bit uh, in our next step. Okay? So why is Christi important? Because it is the sensory organ for our body's rotation. Okay? We need to understand the importance of the Christi. Now, why is the macula, which is the um, hair cells or the receptor cells within the utriculus and sacculus, why is the macula important? The macula is important because it is able to respond to the pull of gravity. It responds to the gravitational pull as well as the position of our head in space. If our head is changing direction, right, up, down, which part of the uh, ear is responding to this? It is the macula, which is the receptor cells within the utriculus and the sacculus. So let's recap again. Why is Christi important? Why is the macula important? The Christi is important because it is the sensory organ for rotation. When our body is rotating, it is the hair cells, which is the Christi inside the ampulla that's able to detect this. Okay, why is the macula important? The macula is important because it is able to detect any changes of the head, right? And it's also important because it responds to our gravitational pull. Okay, so those are the two very important things we need to know about the Christi and the macula. We're going to hear about it now in our next slide. How is balance and equilibrium maintained? To answer this, we have to highlight the structures once again and then explain how the balance and equilibrium is actually maintained. Step 1. The ampulla found at the base of the semicircular canal contains its own receptor cells or hair cells called the Christi. These Christi are covered by its own jelly-like or gel-like substance called the capula. Also found at the base of the semicircular canals are the sacculus and the utriculus. They also contain their own receptor cells or hair cells called the macula. And the macula is also covered by a kind of jelly-like substance or a gel. Right. What happens? Now, when our body is rotating, when we are turning around and around, right? Or when we are changing direction, what's going to happen? The movement of the fluid, which is the endolymph, is going to stimulate the hair cells, which are the Christi, inside the ampulla. Now, what's going to happen is that the hair cells, as well as the gel, the cupula, is going to start to bend. This bending of the 
hair cells and the bending of the cupula is going to create a stimulus right and when there is a gravitational pull when the direction of our head is changing this is going to stimulate the macula which are the hair cells inside the utriculus and the saculus okay and when this happens it's going to cause the macula which is the hair cells as well as the gel surrounding it to move okay this is going to create a stimulus all of the stimuli now is converted into an impulse within the cristae and within the macula the vestibular nerve will take these impulses to the cerebellum to be interpreted and balance and equilibrium will be maintained <laughs>